Questions about how to get care at home are something that we commonly get asked by our patients and families. Sometimes it's a recommendation that we have and bring up for the need of, uh, for additional care at home, and sometimes it's generated by our families who request care and assistance um, with locating a caregiver to provide assistance in the home. There are two different ways that you can get care in the home. The first is through something called traditional home health care, which is a benefit that's provided under almost all insurance policies, including Medicare. And that um, can be ordered and paid for by your insurance plan if you have a skilled care need determined to be medically necessary by your physician and you are homebound. If you meet those two requirements, those services oftentimes are a skilled nurse if you have a nursing need. Um, oftentimes it's physical therapy, occupational therapy, or speech therapy um, to come in the home to either train on a piece of medical equipment, um, assess your home safety, um, you know, deal with a wound or a pressure ulcer. There are a variety of things that those clinicians can focus on at home that require skilled care. Medicare does cover home health at 100% and most insurance policies do as well. Um, In-home care, which is care that's daily living care, things like bathing, dressing, grooming, feeding, the bulk of the care that our families you know, request assistance with on a daily basis, that is not considered skilled care. Um, those are benefits that can be found sometimes on private insurance policies. Those are often referred to as private duty nursing benefits. Um, those are becoming more and more scarce in the insurance marketplace as being parts of policies. So unfortunately, the reality is that most families are tasked with the, the job of trying to locate a caregiver themselves. Um, we have more tools at our disposal in modern times than we used to many years ago. So there are websites that have caregivers listed for hire. Um, there are many local agencies that provide what they call um, non-skilled or just personal care. Um, it can be assistance with, like I said, bathing, grooming, dressing, transportation, uh, meal preparation, those sorts of things. Oftentimes it is an out-of-pocket cost. Um, the burden is large for many families depending on the level of care that you need or require. Um, I would say many families end up interviewing a few different either individual caregivers or agencies to find the best fit for them. If you do have benefits under your insurance plan for private duty nursing, definitely talk to your care provider because that will require prescription um, and dealing with a local skilled care company. But the majority of families will locate individual caregivers um, through a variety of methods. Oftentimes the Office of Aging or Divis Division of Aging in the county or city where you live will keep a companion caregiver list or a list of local agencies that provide care and assistance. Um, I sometimes recommend to families to check with local universities and colleges, things like nursing programs, physical therapy programs. You can locate individuals who are in training who are willing to come in and provide care. You can check with members of your community, your faith community. Oftentimes it's word of mouth, friend of a friend, or someone who's taken care of an ALS patient before in your local community. Um, that's where being plugged into the resources around you is really important because it can serve as a gateway for you to locate services like a caregiver um, that would otherwise be a lot of legwork for you to find.